If you're watching this, you're probably using a class for just about everything, which is fine if you're starting out. But at some point, you're going to want to potentially up your performance, or you're going to be wanting to skip a few lines of code and use the most appropriate type for whatever you're working with. So in this video, I'm going to explain the differences between a class, a struct, and a record, and tell you the types of scenarios you should be using each of those so that you can get the most benefit out of each of them. Okay, let's jump right in. So classes you're probably familiar with at the moment and you're likely using them for everything. They are reference types which affects the way they are being managed in memory, it affects the way they're being copied and it affects the way they're being compared. I have a full video on the differences between reference types and value types. So if you don't know this, I advise you check that out first and then come back to this video. And then classes are mutable by default, meaning that once you instantiate the class and make an object, you can then change the values of the object at will. Classes in support inheritance, and they generally include properties, methods, and events. So when is using a class the best approach? Well, when you want to model a real world thing that has both data and behavior, which translates to properties and methods. A class should also be your go-to type if you're data structure is particularly complex. And by that I mean having loads and loads of properties or having loads of child properties that have their own child properties. Also, if your instantiated object needs to be referenced across your application by multiple other classes and the object data needs to be modifiable. Class is also the right choice if you need to leverage some of the object oriented behaviors of polymorphism or inheritance. So how does a struct differ? Well, first of all, it's a value type, so it affects the way it is copied or is compared. Because of structs being value types, it's recommended that you only use them for immutable types, but that is purely a recommendation. There is nothing in the c -sharp language that actually enforces that by default. They don't support inheritance at all, and the objects that they produce are intended to be lightweight objects. So you should use a struct when the data you're working with is small or is particularly short-lived. So if your type is only gonna have two or three properties, you could be thinking about using a struct over a class. Structs should have little or no behavior at all, so you shouldn't be defining structs that have loads and loads of methods. And if the data in your object isn't going to change, a struct is a good option. Should be considering structs where you want to avoid heap allocations in performant critical situations. Right, so let's look at a few scenarios where using a struct would make way more sense than using a class. Right, this is the classic case of using a struct to represent a a point in a two-dimensional space. And this rarely just holds data that you don't want to change after you've instantiated it, but you're passing that point around throughout your application. With a struct like this, you are likely to be instancing it thousands and thousands of time if you are doing something like reporting or charting. Here, using a struct is much more efficient because you are allocating on the stack and passing the instances around by value. Another good scenario for a struct would be to represent a RGB color. Once again, here we're storing a small amount of immutable fields. That brings us to records. Records were introduced with c -sharp 9 back in 2020 and were designed primarily to be data models. They are reference types by default, so similar to classes. Records are immutable by default. They support positional syntax for these really short and concise declarations. Probably the most notable thing about records is the fact that they use value-based equality. If I create two instances of the class with each of the properties having exactly the same values, and I compare those two instances using the equals to operator, you're gonna find that the class objects, objects don't match Whereas if I do the exact same thing using records with the same values for each of the properties and I compare them with the equals two, you'll find that the record objects do match. The reason is because that is one of the big differences with records. So for two records to be equal, their data type needs to be the same and the values of each of their properties need to be the same. Whereas with a class, for two classes to be equal, they just need to be pointing to the same area on the heap. Once again, that's the difference between reference types and value types. All this is explained. I have another video on that. Link in the description. Then because records are designed to be data structures, they have a very cool toString method. If we call toString on a record, we actually get an output of each of the properties with their 
values as opposed to calling toString on a class we just get the name of the class and the namespace. So you should use a record when your object data isn't going to change, when you need to do value-based equality. So really use records for DTOs and for when you have configuration settings that need to be passed around. So if you wanna be slick, you can use a record or a struct in the appropriate places. Otherwise, just keep using classes. It's not the end of the world. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.